Hey guys, so today we are doing, yes, we are doing it, a uh, lip swatch in review on all of the e.l.f. matte lip colors. They just released three new shades, so I'm sure a lot of you are really interested in those. Um, right off the bat, these are $3 each. I love them. Can't really complain. They are all matte, and there is a whole bunch now in the collection, and I have all of them here to do some lip swatches and all that. I just recently did a lip swatch and review on all the e.l.f. glossy glosses. If you missed that video, I will link it down below. Definitely check that out. Now this is the old packaging. And then this is the new packaging. Uh, pretty similar, it's just the writing on the front is a little bit different. So um, they're all color coded at the bottom. They all have sharpeners at the bottom so you can sharpen. Uh, the ends here. What I love about sharpening these with the sharpener is that you can use these as a lip liner and as a lipstick. So I do like that they are a retractable lip product. It's almost like a super skinny lipstick tube in my opinion. Uh, these are really easy to apply. They're pigmented. They go on really nicely. I definitely see a difference in the formula with the new shades. The three new colors they came out with. I feel like the formula has changed a little bit. It's creamier. It feels more moisturizing. And you all know that matte lipsticks can sometimes be drying on the lips. But even the original ones, I feel like they're not too drying on the lips. So they're pigmented. They last a long time. You know, they're just a regular matte lipstick, but I love them. I, I just love them so much. No really bright colors in this line. I'd say they're all fairly normal shades. A lot of great nudes and neutrals. Uh, they've got like a really bright red. So let's jump into the swatches and get this thing going. Alright, so the first shade here is called Nearly Nude. And as you can tell, this is a very nudey, I would say this is a peachy nude on me it looks really peachy so this one I usually don't wear on its own I always put a gloss over top and it looks really nice I think a lot of people might not be able to wear this because it is very very nude uh, but yeah that's what nearly nude looks like and here is a swatch as well these are just really pigmented really creamy all right moving on to the second shade this is another really great nude I love this one so much better this one is called Natural, and as you can tell, it matches my natural lip color perfectly. This is like my lips, but better shade. I love it so, so much. This is my go-to nude when I want something really matte. Oh, I love it. It's beautiful. Uh, so here's a swatch here of Natural. So you see, compared to uh, Nearly Nude, it's more of like a peachy, pinkish color, and this one's definitely more of a pinky mauve. Alright, moving on, the next one is called Coral, and this is, of course, a coral color. This is the only coral out of the full collection of lipsticks, and I have to say this is probably my least favorite. Um, it just doesn't look right on me particularly. I'm not the biggest fan of corals. I would describe this color as almost a pastel coral. It's a really, really light color. It's still a little bit bright. And here is a swatch right here, and that is Coral. So this one here is one of my all-time favorites. I think this is definitely my favorite out of the original six shades. This one is called Tea Rose. It's the perfect everyday sort of purplish mauve nude. I love this so much. Sometimes this will pull gray tones on me, which I kind of like that sort of purplish gray kind of lip color so that is what T Rose looks like and here is a swatch right here another really beautiful shade I wear this one all the time and this is like my second tube of this I love 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 this one that's T Rose alright moving on this one is praline and I love this one this is like a really dark uh, brownish nude shade. I think this would look beautiful on really deep skin tones. This would be the perfect nude for you. And I actually really like this one. I used to hate it, but I kind of like that sort of brownish um, lipstick color. Whoa, there's the sun. 
Uh, I really, really like this one. Again, this is Praline. This is also a dupe for one of the um, Stila Longwear lip colors. And the packaging is really similar as well. So um, I really, really love this shade. So that is Praline. And here is the swatch right here. My lips are going to be raw after this. Oh well. This shade here is called Red because obviously you can tell it's a red shade. This is another reason why I love these being in a jumbo like small pencil form is that you can really outline your lips and you don't even need a lip liner. I did not use a lip liner with this color. This shade is my least favorite because I'm not a big fan of reds that have a really strong like pink undertone but this I think would be a beautiful red for like in the spring or in the uh, summer months because it's just a really vibrant pink red and here is a swatch of rich red super duper bright really pigmented all right so this is the first shade here and this is one of the brand new colors this shade is called fuchsia and this is the only pink and I'm glad they came out with the pink because they really there's no other pink besides the red, which is more of a reddish pink color. So this is straight up a really nice, beautiful, bright fuchsia color. Very bold. Again, like I mentioned in the beginning, these uh, three new shades, they feel like they have a little bit of gloss to them. I don't know if you can see it, but these are a little less matte than the original six uh, in the line. So. Uh, super creamy, so pigmented and vibrant. And here's a swatch right here. And that is Fuchsia. Oh my goodness. Love, love, love. So next up we have Wine. I actually meant to put Cranberry on first because Cranberry is a little bit lighter than Wine. But oh well, I already have it on now. So this is what Wine looks like. This is a super beautiful, perfect, perfect perfect shade for fall. I would describe this as a beautiful wine shade. It's like that Merlot wine. So, so pretty. So that is wine. And here is a swatch right here next to, so that's fuchsia and that's wine. All right, and last but not least, this is cranberry and it's a beautiful cranberry shade. I really love this one. It's been my favorite sort of Fall, another great fall color. I just, oh, I love it so much. This has more of a reddish undertone to it, a reddish brown. I would describe this as a, like a burgundy. Yeah, like a burgundy color. Uh, so that is Cranberry. I absolutely love this one. I think it's definitely one of my favorites. I like wine as well. So those are the three new shades. You've got Fuchsia, Wine, and then Cranberry here on the end. Alright, so that was the lip swatches of all the e.l.f. matte lip colors. I love these so much. Definitely check these out. I'll put um, their website link down below, eyes, lips, face. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a quick thumbs up. I always appreciate it. You can comment, share with your friends, subscribe if you're not subscribed. Thank you guys so much for taking the time to watch today. Don't forget to check out my other e.l.f. reviews and my playlist down below in the information bar. I will see you all next time. Remember, smarter beauty is better beauty. Bye, guys.